good afternoon everyone. Today's video, it would be I believe day 11 of the 60 day video challenge. And I actually did a blog article to go along with this video. And the article title is, is Chivalry Non-Existent in 2013. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I was listening to Steve Harvey this morning on the radio and they were talking about chivalry. For those that don't know what it is, it is a man being a gentleman. It's the man opening your car door. It's the man, um, you know, the manners, the please and thank you. It's the man buying your dinner. It's holding your hand. It's that man that's just being an all-around gentleman. So, I said, I wonder, do I really know what chivalry is? You know, I've been married for 12 years, and I'm starting to wonder, did I miss that class? So I looked it up on Webster's Dictionary to find out what chivalry actually was. And it was that. It was about a man being loyal, about a man's values. It was about a man being honorable, and it was about a man being respectful. And it goes back to the Middle Ages. So I'm like, I know I missed that class. And so I, it made me think that we as women, oh, let me put out a key point here. It was not women being chivalrous, chivalrous, I heard it on the radio, to a man. It's a man being chivalrous to a woman. So I, it made me think, well, how did I miss it? And is my daughter going to miss it? Well, I think we have to really look at what we're looking for in a man and what we, how we want to be treated. And if we're not requiring it or putting it out there, well, we're not going to get it. If you don't go out on that first date with that guy and tell him, yeah, you need to open my door for me, then he's not going to do it. Now, after 12 years, I'm like, honey, can you open my door? He'll do it once or twice, but he's not going to remember. And it's not that he doesn't want to do it. It's just not something that was taught to him. So now, my 12-year-old son and my 10-year-old son, it's two of them, need to open a door for mommy and open a door for their sister. And it's something that we can train our young boys to do, to kind of fill in the gap of the generation that missed out on chivalry. That you do pay for dinner for your, for your woman if you're taking her out on a date. I know Dutch is cool, Dutch is not the way we should be yelling out Dutch. I know we are independent. Stop that. Let the men be men. You want a man to be a man. You want him to protect you. You want him to provide for you. And God willing, you want him to be a preacher to you. You want him to feed into your spirit. And all of that is a really good man. But we have to really sit back and look at what type of man are we looking for. And if you sit back and look at it, maybe your man does it. Maybe he doesn't. And if you look around when you're out and about, see if you see a guy in the grove. See if that guy opens that door for that woman or holds her hand. Holding hands is a show of affection. It's also a show of protection. It, it lets people know that that woman is with him and better not step her way because I got this one right here. And so this is a short, short version of what I was listening to on Steve Harvey this morning. And it really made me think that we do have to go back to some of the middle age ways that got us this far and stop being so independent. Because trust me, that man protecting you is going to come in handy one day. And that man providing for you, I know we can make our own money, but it's nothing like a man saying, baby, I got you. And really meaning it. And so it's one of those things I just wanted to put out there. I wanted um, us to sit down and think about it. And it's an article at the bottom. So if you don't mind, rate the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and tell me what you think. I hope you all have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Peace. Thank you.